Hey, what's going on, guys? It's harvest time out in Iowa, and uh, we've got a bit of a pig problem we're still dealing with. You guys remember our hogs, right? Come on, wild hogs. Let's go. Now, do I regret buying these hogs? Well, it was the piglets at the time, to be honest. They're all porkers. Now, do I regret buying them before I had everything set up? I don't know yet. I mean, we're doing okay. Look, guys, these were just the piglets. I've got a hundred of these. Look at them. Look at them. They're, por they're porkers now. And they're maturing pretty quick, which means we're going to be, well, getting some more piglets in about probably six months, maybe five. I don't know. I have to double check. But things are progressing. It's good. Now, of course, I could do this a lot faster if I was able to feed them properly. We're working on that. And today, hopefully, today we can fix all that. I mean, so far, all we've been feeding them are, well, is the corn that, well, we've been getting off this field. And you guys know we've been trucking that around, using the corn for all our productions as well. But I do have some beans that are ready to be harvested as well. And that's going to progress. It's going to increase. It's going to make, well, so much, it's going to make the productivity of our, of our hogs so much better. And this is just a start. Because we've also got this root crop field, which we started. Remember we got, we plowed this all up. It's prepped, it's ready. But we missed our planting season. That's going to have to wait till next year. So hopefully... If my count is right, within a year, can we get our, well, can we get our hogs up to, like, the perfect productivity? So there is, of course, the problem. I still need grain, guys. I need to get some kind of a grain crop in order to uh, maximize this. Everything's kind of falling in order, but there's one more piece of that puzzle that we need to come up with. I don't know if I can do it or not. We're going to find out. We got to get harvesting. Let's head back to the farm. Don't worry, I haven't forgot about our cows either. They're, they're all looking pretty good. In fact, we were just feeding them up here. Guys, so we've got about 100,000 bones right now. And that's going to be, well, we're, what we're going to need to use. Now, don't get me wrong. I've sold off a bunch of stuff. I've got a lot of milk, actually, we could sell off. The tanker's empty right now. i got to fill that up at some point later today. Maybe we'll get to that. But today, I've got fields to harvest first. And that's really what's going to hopefully drive this home. Because I need to, well, use those crops to sell, feed our animals, of course. And then secondly, I need those crops in order to make some money over the winter to buy another fields for our grain crop like i said we need one more grain crop we've got the sort we've got not sorghum we've got soybeans we've got the corn and of course we've got the grass and then we'll have a root crop as well i do need to buy equipment for the root crop because i have nothing yet for planting that i'm not too too worried about selling or by uh, harvesting yet i need stuff to plant but i also have another thing i need to harvest that my bean field right there that i don't have a solution for quite yet either so that hundred thousand dollars, guys, that's been already earmarked. It's already earmarked for this. We'll take care of that a little later on the day. I've got something coming. So we've got the gleaner warming up. You guys know this is our, our main harvester now. We've got rid of the uh the pull behind. You'll pull behind John Deere. We've moved on to the gleaner. And that's gonna be taking care of this cornfield right off the bat here. Now, as for that bean field, like I said, that's coming later on today. I've got something on order. We're gonna sign off and uh, send, sign the check once it arrives. We of course need a new header. I've got this massive Capello header. This 18 row, this uh, prototype Capello header we've been using over on the cornfield. I need to find something that is just as substantial, hopefully for the bean field. Because like I said, we're slowly moving on. We're getting we're getting bigger fields. Things are starting to come together here. But this Capello header has been nice for the uh, the, the corn. I need something that's going to be just as nice for our beans. And you know what? We might as well move the Mac out here as well. Get it prepped. We're going to need it out in the field as well, of course. But uh, we'll fill this bin back up. There's still a little bit of corn left in this. I usually try to sell all of it off. I've still got some stuff down the bottom. I might ship that out later. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I know we should probably leave it off today and get rid of all the corn. But um, you know what? This is the way it's worked this year. I just I've been, I was trying to save a little bit for our for our um, our pigs, for the hogs, and I, I just didn't think we'd take it all yet. Anyways, whatever. Don't worry about it. We'll take it over later on. We're going to have a full... It's going to be a full bin again. Yeah, I don't think you want to have any of last year's product, usually, do you? It's, it's okay. Drains from the bottom. We'll get the last year's product out first. It's, it'll be fine. Uh, all right, let's unfurl this and get into this field. Man, that's a big unit. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is giant. All right. Back in harvest uh, year three, I think. Four? Three? Year three. Yeah, year three. So you can see the corn there. Let's go. In we go. Oh, boy. Another, it should be another good harvest, I think. Uh, we've been pretty successful on this. It's going to give us probably another 300,000 farming units of our corn out here. Uh, should be pretty good. Once again, should be more than enough. I can't really push any more than that. This is like, if we, if we're absolutely maximizing the productivity, 
given for precision farming of the corn, this is what we're going to get out of it. So it seems to be stabilized at that the last uh, few years. That's what we've gotten off this field. Really, the only difference is, is what equipment we're using to pull it off, I guess, right? If we have like this gleaner, this just makes life a little bit simpler. We can do this a little bit quicker, not to mention in a little bit of style as well. Gleaner ain't bad. It's not bad for the price. Not bad at all. A little over halfway done. Things are happening. Oh, it's just, it's so, we gotta be so tight. You guys remember this? That, uh, <laughs> that header is just so big. You've gotta be right up against it in order to unload. It is what it is. It's gotta be the best driver on farm sim, that's all. Just gonna sneak it in. Come on, you can you can do it. There we go, see? Like I said, you could, we could do it. What have we done, guys? We got lots of, lots of harvesting left to do in this cornfield. Just gotta call the bean headers on its way. We'll pay for that in a bit. I'll show it to you. It's gonna be good. It's gonna, it should be, should be all right, right? Maybe. All right, guys, last couple. I think I got me one more load to go pick up, but uh, looking pretty good. Bin's getting full. And here is our brand new bean bean header. Uh, it is a 45 footer. So it's actually pretty much the same size as that 18 row. I think it's actually a little bit smaller, but it is a draper header. It does have the um, connected cart, so I don't need to worry about any kind of carting problems I may run into. The Ford seems to be able to handle it. We'll see how she does that little Ford. Uh, we're not going far with it. I did need a solution since, well, the Capello at least folds up. Of course, yeah, this header does not fold. So we needed to find a solution for that. And um, that truck should tow it since we don't have a hitch on the gleaner. So there you go. That should work out just fine. We only have to get up to like, well, one range road over up that way. See if we can reconnect this and unload that back trailer as well. And then we'll be back into the field. All right, field is done. We've got just a little bit of work left to do today. Um, We've got a bean field to go. Look at the gleaner. Looks, she looks mean without the uh, the header on the front. That's okay. We'll grab the header. We'll uh, take the truck over. It's unfinished unloading right now. We'll drop everything we've got into the bin. Now, I do not have a bin for the beans, so they're going straight over to the storage at the old pig farm. I think there should be enough for the... I don't know. We'll see what kind of yield we get. Uh, we've maximized as much as we can off that. I mean, for the first far, the first harvest on that field, we'll see how we do. Looks like everyone's in tow. Let's uh, let's head on across the uh, the county road up on that range road and head on up to the field. Oh yeah, everyone's coming. Let's go. A little bit of traffic back there. Everyone made it out across. Good, good, good. All right, we are. We're just gonna kind of park it right in the middle here by the cotton field. Cotton in Iowa. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. That's not normal, is it? That doesn't make sense. All right, everything's been reconfigured. We got the brand new, uh, brand new header connected. Trucks here. I think we can get into this bean field, guys. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it's not too bad. You could have used a little bit more lime, of course. Like I said, from our soil samples, it's um, next year. Next year will be even a little bit better if we can get up to to our potential on this. That's incredible. That'd be pretty incredible. But for now, well, this is all going to get shipped well straight up there to uh, the pig that the pig farm area. We got the cattle, we got the pigs. We've got some more outbuildings over on that side, which I haven't really done anything with yet. Eh, we need the money first. So anyways, let's get into this field and uh, let's get this harvested quickly so we can move on. Like I said, guys, we need to maximize our pigs. That's kind of what we're trying to do right now. We'll see how far we can get into this stuff. Uh, we still need to save enough money that we can buy a new field because quite honestly, I don't have anything else yet. I need more space for a grain crop. That's what this is all going towards soon. All right. Header's working. Looks good. Let's get these beans harvested. Nice. 11 mile an hour harvest? Hey, that ain't bad. That's uh, that's actually pretty incredible. Nice. It's, it's almost perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to cruise through this relatively quickly. So like I said, just a little bit shorter than uh, that Capello green, or the corn header I've got. So this is actually going to make life a little bit easier for me. It's going to be easier to unload because the, the pipe's long enough now. Anyways, it's just, a, I think it's like about, what is it, like five feet less, maybe four feet, something like that. So yeah, it's, it's like perfect length for this combine. Almost full already, so not bad. We're getting a decent yield off this. I'm kind of curious to see how much we in total get off this field. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. We've got a lot more harvesting yet to go. You can see I've only been there and back kind of once. We've got our headland done. Let's jump back on in. All right, first 40,000 uh, farming units of our or coal, our soybeans are in here with the pigs. It's all coming together slowly but surely. First uh, first stage done. Now I just got to get some root crops and some grain crops in there. All right, harvest is completed and we pulled off about 100,000 farming units of the uh, of the beans. This field holds, that's what we got. That's, uh, I mean, I didn't estimate it beforehand. First time harvesting it, 100,000. We're putting it straight over into the pig style over there. Uh, for our hogs, 
I got uh, two thirds full right now in the truck. We're gonna take that over. We're gonna move the gleaner back to the farm. But uh, the harvest is already completed. The main part of our harvest, of course, we've got some hay and we can still do this year, which we may get to. But guys, our pigs at least have some food now. So let's let's take that over there. Come on, Betsy, get up this hill. Come on. So I am a little bit on the fence on if I should have waited until we had our food sources all secured or not. Yeah, it would have been nice to, you know, make sure our, our pigs were fed properly right off the bat. Uh, yeah, what do you do? You know what? It's fine. It's going to be okay. So that's been taken care of. We've gotten, of course, we have corn. We've got our beans in there now. Now, there is one slight problem that uh, we may have for going forward here. And to be honest, if we were doing our cattle the same way, we run into the exact same problem. Uh, but since we're feeding them, we're mixing the TMR outside of the uh, the pens. We're not running into that problem, of course, with our cows. But with this, we're going to run into a capacity issue if we keep going the way we're going. Yeah, I, I don't know if I should maybe find a way to mix up our food at some point here and actually make pig food before dumping it in here and then dump in proper pig food. Yeah, because right now we're pretty much full up between the beans and the corn. Just with those two. No, I don't even have grains in here, and I don't have any root crops in here, which we need to still do at some point, right? Or on the other hand, I could just be cognizant of that and then just beware of when I'm getting full. Like you can see right now, I still got roughly 5,000 farming units of beans in here that I cannot stick in there because it's full. Huh. And of course, since um, I don't have another bin right now, all I've got is the, the one bin by our farm for corn. I guess I'm just going to leave it in the truck until we can fill this up as they slowly eat through it. I uh, hope you guys are hungry because you guys got to start to come on eat it up eat it up hurry up let's go I gotta I gotta put those beans in there what the, I didn't have any corn so as for the rest of the day we've got our, uh, our combine back here with a header it should be relatively straightforward I'm actually gonna jump in here and I'm gonna throw some lime down right away because rain is coming and that's something I, I'd be better off taking care of sooner than later and then I don't have to worry about it next year, right? It's done. Now, <clears throat> I do also want to try and sell off all of our dairy goods. It's the best time of year. Markets are showing that they're the best prices right now to sell off our milk, our cheese. What else do we got? I can't even remember what else. Oh, butter, butter, milk, and cheese. So all our dairy goods, uh, I want to try and sell off as soon as I can here. Let's turn this thing on. Yeah, we want to sell that off as soon as possible. So uh, that's probably going to be right after I get the liming done. And we're going to make a little bit of money here to go into the winter. So we got to take care of that. And then by the time all that's done, we're just going to move on through the winter and maybe we'll see you guys um, come the spring when it's time to figure out if we can finally get these pigs fed the way they're supposed to be. We've got a little bit of work left to do on that, like I said, but it's probably going to be root crop time. You guys know how much I love doing root crops, right? Yeah. Anyways, let me uh, get through this. I'll, um, I'll see you guys in the new year. Happy New Year. It is only October. It feels weird saying that. See you guys in the new year. Well, guys, it's the new year. It's actually in March and it's time to get planting on. We made our, well, sold absolutely everything off. As you can see, uh, made a decent amount of money. We're up to 620 some thousand dollars right now, which is sweet. So with that money, guys, we've well, got to plant the beet field. We're going to need to buy a, a beet harvester of some kind, but I also would like to find a way to plant a grain crop, which means, well, number one, we need a new plant or cedar, and we also need well, another field. I know. I mean, yeah, 600,000 bucks feels like you got a decent amount of money, but uh, it's going to cost us quite a few pennies to do what I want to get done. I mean, the, the beet harvester that I want to buy alone is a half a mil. So, um, I'm no mathematician, but, well, half a million minus 600. You guys know what I mean. I didn't do the math before I opened my mouth. Sorry. Okay, so I then maybe don't need the half a million dollar harvester. Still, I, I'm, the, the fields I'm going to buy, I mean, it's going to be close to probably $400,000 for a field. I need a cedar. It's going to be 100000 to two hundred. dollars The money's not going to last that long with that rate going, is it? And don't forget to mention I wouldn't mind getting another tractor as well as another planter. But uh, I think we're going to have to wait on that. This is going to have to work again for our corn. I think I said earlier that I was planning on getting rid of this planter and upgrading. It, I just don't see that being in the cards this year. On the bright side, guys, this is only going to take me um, like 15 minutes to plant. Let's be honest here. There is not a lot of field here. We don't need a ton of beets. Like, really? How many beets do I need? And it's such a small amount. I'm not using it for anything else. So we're not going to need a ton, right? Anyways, let's, uh, let's get to work on this. Let's get these beets planted. First time we've planted beets out here. Drop that down, and away we go. Oh boy. 
Come on. Let's go. Get up to speed. I can hold about, what, like seven miles per hour? Oh, yeah. It should be able to handle it. The old John Deere. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Just had to get into the right gear. That's all. Anyways, so we'll get these beats planted. And um, hopefully by the end of the year, once these are, we'll find a way to maximize the productivity from those pigs. That's kind of the goal. They're doing okay. But, uh, yeah, there's still st it's still a bit of a struggle for sure. Cow's looking good. In fact, well, as soon as this is done, we'll be able to take care of some milk problems we got to deal with. All right, last little bit here. One more pass down the middle. And that's going to be all she wrote for the beet field, guys. Perfect. All right, so this is going to be done. Uh, I might go and sell. I think I've got a trailer full of milk I'm going to sell off. we got to go buy a town, stop in town, and see which fields we got to lease or buy for fields right now. See if we can get that on the go and get some kind of a protein or some kind of a grain, sorry. Some kind of grain. We got the protein. We need the grain right now. Got to go take care of that. So uh, let me just jump out of this. We're going to grab the truck. It's all loaded up. We'll go for a drive. All right. So we've got uh, 30,000 liters of milk ready to rock and roll. We've got to go drop this off at the dairy. Uh, I noticed we're a little low over there for our cheese and milk. Uh, and there's some stuff being being processed already, but we got to keep that uh, facility definitely up and running. Otherwise, you know, that's that's going to be my main moneymaker going forward here. The cheese and milk really... Guys, that makes a lot of money at that place. I'm not going to lie. If we can keep that running all the time, uh, that's really going to help us going forward. All right, hammer down. Let's get to the town. All right, everything getting loaded in there. In fact, I've got... Boy... I got a bunch of butter already, guys. Look at the butter we got here. I should probably sell some of that off. Actually, no, we'll store it. It's not the right time to sell. We'll hold on to it. We'll take it over to the logistics center. Store it for now. Butter's here. Let's go take a look at some fields and see what we can find. I got to see if there's anything we can buy in the area. So we've upgraded fields now as well. I've used everything we've got. You can see we've used about $200,000. And we've just expanded one of our fields, to be perfectly honest. The bean field we bought last year, I've just kind of bought, well, the field right beside it, which is just on our left here. That field has been expanded, so we've got a whole new area we can plant right there. And then the ones with all the weeds, and that's the bean field from last year. So we've got a bean and wheat field now, I guess. Or barley? Wheat? Barley? I think we'll go barley. I think we'll go barley. I think we'll go barley. Uh, maybe we'll go wheat. Barley? How about oat? And since we are finally planting some beans and uh, we'll we need to plant barley, some, our, our wheat crops as well, or our, our grain crops, I should say. Well... I had to, to buy something else, and this was, uh, the, well, the horse Pronto 9. It was roughly 120,000 bones for this brand new one. I was hoping to find something used, but no luck. Yeah, pretty nice planting unit, though. This should uh, work out fairly well. It is a little bit of a struggle since we're still fighting with the 7810, guys. I got to stay around that 200 horsepower range. This thing is rated for around 200 horsepower, so even this is going to be a bit of a struggle for that 7810. Fields are fairly flat. I should be able to handle it. So... Let's head in and um, we'll start throwing some seeds down. So we've already got one bean harvest done. So I think the bigger field is the first one. The new field we bought, we'll save that for our beans later. So that's the far distance, the distance there. This front field, I'm going to turn this one in. It's going to be our barley field, I think. Because, uh, well, quite honestly, we, we need barley first, right? Makes, makes sense. So, um, yeah, let's get the barley into this. And then we'll put beans in the far field once, um, once they're ready to plant. It's going to warm up a little bit in a month or so. And then we should be ready to plant some beans. All right, looks like we're all unfolded. Let's fire this thing on up, and um, in we go. All right, perfect. All right, so we are fertilizing as we plant. It is a direct drill as well, which is kind of nice, but uh, pretty nice planting unit. Yeah, look at that. That is great, okay, perfect. So it's a little bit smaller, however, than our planter, but you know what, it's not, not bad. It's still a decent size for what it is. Like I said, I'm still being kind of stuck by 200 horsepower we're getting out of the 7810 here so this here is going to give us our well the, the the wheat crop or the barley crop is going to be this 25 percent productivity we're going to get out of our our pigs because of this our hogs we've got our corn which is the big sustenance sustenance gainer sustenance gainer clutch sustenance sustenance yeah clutch knows how to speak we get our corn to start with we're going to be putting in the barley will be the 25 percent so we're up to 75 percent of course, then our beans, we'll give it another 20%. And then lastly, the beets we planted will be the last five in order to maximize productivity out of those hogs. Now, of course, the productivity we're talking about is reproduction, right? Like, that's all we're doing. We're making bacon with those bad boys. And, and girl, 
girl pigs too. You know, the same, same. Um, anyways, we're gonna be making some, uh, lots of pigs, hopefully. I don't know how many we want to have made in there. Like, we should be, there should be some piglets coming in the next month or two, so how many piglets, or how many pigs do I want to have before I start selling them off? And I, I don't know. I have to figure that all out. I don't know what the best price is for those yet. That's going to be something I have to watch for a bit. But by the time we get this all planted, guys, we're going to be into summer. Hopefully, I can make a little bit more money off our productions. Like, that's really what I'm counting on. So we can buy a proper harvester for the beets. The beets, har harvesting the beets is the last thing we need to take care of. Technically, if I can get 250000 bucks, I could really go crazy and buy a really nice beet harvester. Um, I need half a million dollars for that, though. So I don't know if we're going to get there or not. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So guys, I think we are going to be okay financially. I, I, it's still a little touch and go with that harvester. That's the only thing I'm a little concerned with. Like I said, I still want to buy another tractor as well. I'm pushing this John Deere to the limits. But anyways, we'll try and take care of that uh, once we get this harvest done. So we got this this fall. This fall could be big. It could be big things could happen. Well, maybe the winter when we sell everything off. So with all that being said, I think we'll wrap things up today. I think today... Man, it's, I can't speak right now, I swear. This must be the line must be getting in my in my eyes. I can't see, it's so bright. Don't know why that would mess with what I'm saying, but you guys know what I mean. Anyways, thanks for watching today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you are newer on the channel. And uh, cheers to you uh, members, as always. Cheers to the members of the crew. You guys are awesome. Anyways, guys, let me uh, wrap through this. I'll see you guys later on this summer as we kind of plow more into the summer. And we'll have to do some, uh, some weeding and who knows what else in these fields. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next time. This is Glutch from Iowa, over and out.